Deep within the forest, the air grows tense, while from the damp soil rises a steady rhythm, like the faint echo of war drums, as though the entire woodland sensed the beginning of an inevitable conflict. The Messer ants push forward without pause, consuming everything they encounter on the forest floor. There are too many mouths to feed, and deep in their underground chambers, the larvae wait with growing hunger. Their workers, numbered in the thousands, move as one, efficient, unwavering, uns this grasshopper has made a decisive mistake by venturing too deep into Messer territory. Now surrounded with no chance of escape, it is destined to become food for the colony, fulfilling the cycle set by the queen. In the higher regions, clashes are frequent. The tree sap, precious as gold, is a scarce and coveted resource. It sustains wasp colonies and many other creatures that rely on this golden fluid to survive. Wasps are drawn to sweetness, and every conflict over sap carries a serious risk. They may lose their food supply, but worse still, their ability to fly. And once one falls, it descends into its worst fate. The forest floor, a domain ruled by ants, where no opportunity for a kill is ever forgiven. The soldier ants, the living tanks of the Messer colony, intercept the winged intruder instantly. Accustomed to facing far more dangerous insects, their impenetrable armor shields them completely. Though the wasp carries a sting, it is entirely ineffective against the armor of these fearsome soldiers. Resistance is futile. Gradually, the wasp is dragged toward the anthill. Though this Vespula vulgaris possesses strong mandibles, its strength and courage pale in comparison to the power and determination of these ants. The big-headed workers of Messer Barbarus use their massive mandibles not just to crush seeds, but also to share information about food with other ants through taps, a silent, tactile language that coordinates the colony. The situation seems under control, as if part of the daily routine, yet something terrible is about to happen. Unaware, they are venturing into the territory of the garden ants, a place where every intruder faces inevitable danger. These ants are the nightmare of neighboring colonies, with numbers reaching up to 40,000 members. In just a few hours, they can invade and wipe out entire colonies of other species. Even the forest giants, like these Camponotus ants, can hardly defend themselves when disaster for every garden ant that falls during the battle, a dozen immediately take its place, maintaining unrelenting pressure. During battles, these ants use alarm pheromones to coordinate massive attacks, and remarkably, they can remember combat routes and high-risk zones, making future skirmishes more efficient. They don't attack at random. Their assaults are organized with military-like tactics. The small group of Messer has just entered the territory of the garden ant colony, and the alarm is triggered immediately. Within seconds, hundreds of workers are rushing to the conflict. The tank ants hold their ground as best they can. Their enemies know their armor offers protection, so the garden ants first try to disable their limbs. Their combined fury and sheer numbers form an unstoppable wave. Everything that falls in their territory is processed as... In their world, food belongs to no one. The Messer, forced by the danger they face, have released their prey. But the garden ants waste no time, claiming it for themselves. The wasp, exhausted from the relentless pursuit, tries to escape amid the chaos, but freedom will not be granted. Pay close attention to this remarkable moment. A Messer worker risks everything, trying to help her companion escape at all costs. Her tank companion, having taken the worst of the battle, appears visibly dazed, unable to navigate the chaos surrounding them. Yet another worker from the colony does not abandon her. She tries to guide her step by step, displaying behavior as meticulous as it is unexpected, revealing a remarkable level of intelligence, coordination, and mutual care within the colony. The prey they had risked so much for is already lost, yet the workers continue to withstand the assault, even as several of their sisters have fallen in battle. Step by step, they make their way toward their Messer anthill, clinging to the fragile hope of escaping the chaos. But every movement toward safety heightens the danger. The garden ants relentlessly track their trail, and if they reach the anthill, not just the prey, but the entire colony and its future would be wiped out, erasing generations of effort and survival in mere minutes. Some of the largest warriors of the colony, nearby at the time, 
rush to assist their comrades only to become ensnared in the whirlwind of the garden ants. Even a winged ant, hovering nearby, falls victim to the ferocity of hundreds of tiny mandibles. This is no ordinary worker. She is a queen, destined to leave the colony and establish her own nest elsewhere in the forest, and unknowingly, she has encountered a threat that could shatter her future before it has even begun. The big-headed workers of Messer possess extraordinary endurance, perfectly adapted to their roles as foragers and colony defenders. Their mandibular muscles and reinforced exoskeleton allow them to sustain prolonged effort and carry food loads several times their own weight. Additionally, their metabolism and social coordination optimize teamwork, so that even after extended encounters with predators or competitors, they continue to collect and transport seeds without pause, demonstrating a level of stamina and efficiency remarkably high for their size. This ant is about to show us what she is made of. Despite her exhausted state, she keeps enduring and moving forward with determination. Step by step, she draws closer to her anthill, while the garden ants, realizing their prey is slipping away, begin to disperse and return to their own. She is just steps away from reaching her goal. Will she be able to succeed after all the effort and obstacles she has faced? Finally, she makes it back to her sisters, the only one of the group to return. The other workers greet her immediately, their movements restless and hesitant, clearly puzzled by the strange scent of another colony she carries. They examine her carefully, confused by the foreign pheromones covering her, trying to make sense of what has happened. Though she returns without food and without the rest of her companions, at least she has not left a trail for the enemy ants to follow thereby protecting her colony from immediate danger and allowing life in the anthill to continue without imminent risk. This small episode reminds us of the incredible complexity of the ant world, a universe in which every action, no matter how tiny, reflects strategies and behaviors that often blur the line between instinct and thought. While we tend to assume insects act solely on reflex, they sometimes appear to display flashes of intelligence, cooperating to rescue a companion, communicating silently through pheromones, meticulously organizing food collection, or coordinating the defense of their territory are all examples of a sophisticated social order, a delicate balance between individual and collective survival, inviting us to look closer and marvel at the life thriving beneath our feet.